Hello, all creative filmmakers. In this video, I am going to show you how to create smooth film end credits in Premiere Pro, as you can see. So, let's get started. Now we are inside Premiere Pro. Here, you can see. I have already created a sequence. Now, let's add some text. We can add text by using this type tool or press the T key to enable the type tool. And then, I can click anywhere in the program monitor and start typing. At this moment, I am going to type Best Hollywood Movie. Now, let's go back to the selection tool. As you can see here, in the Essential Graphics panel, I am using the Roboto Black font for the title. Next, we can align this text inside the program monitor. First of all, we have to enable the Snap in Program Monitor option. Now, I am going to make the text snap onto the red line in the middle of the frame. In the next step, I am going to copy this text by hitting Ctrl plus C and then paste this with Ctrl plus V. And, as you can see here, in the Essential Graphics panel, we have got two copies of the same text layer. Then, select the top text and move down. And then, resize the text. Next, I am going to change the text directed by. Now, let's go back to the selection tool by clicking this icon. In this case, I am going to change the text font, Roboto Light. Next, I am going to zoom the program monitor for the advantage of work. Next, we can align this text to the center inside the program monitor. Again, I am going to copy this text by hitting Ctrl plus C and then paste this with Ctrl plus V. And, as you can see here, in the Essential Graphics panel, we have got two copies of the same text layer. Then, select the top text and move down. Now, I am going to change the text. I have already got a short list of names. Next, copy a random name. And then, paste this onto our text. Now, let's go back to the selection tool. Next, I am going to change the font style, Roboto Bold. And then, make the text a little bigger. As you can see here, in the Essential Graphics panel, we have added three layers of text. And, all these text layers are inside a single Essential Graphics item, which you can find here, on the timeline. Next, we have to enable the Roll option. Now, you can see here, the Roll option gives, a scroll bar, at the side of the program monitor. And then, as you can see here, Start Off Screen, and End Off Screen are enabled, by default. Also, you can add time for pre-roll, post-roll, ease in, and ease out. Let's do a quick playback on the timeline. The speed of the roll is based on the content, and the length of the graphic item, on the timeline. If we make this longer, the roll will go slower. And if we make it shorter, it will go faster. As you see in the program monitor. Next, I am going to add some more text with different formatting. I have already got a short list of names, as you can see here. Firstly, I am going to copy this group of names. And then, enable the type tool, by clicking here. After that, click anywhere in the program monitor. And then, paste all the copied names here. And, as you can see, the rest of the text will reposition automatically, based on the role. Next, I am going to right align the text, by clicking this icon here, in the Essential Graphics panel. After that, move the right side of this text box to the center of the frame, as you can see. And then, resize the text as per your requirement. In the next step, I am going to copy the text box by hitting Ctrl plus C, and then, paste this with the Ctrl plus V button. And, as you can see here, in the Essential Graphics panel, we have got two copies of the same text layer. And then, move this top text box to the right. Next, I am going to left align the text, by clicking this icon here, in the Essential Graphics panel. After that, move the left side of this text box, to the center of the frame, as you can see. As you can see here, there is no space between the two text boxes. So, let's adjust the anchor point slightly. Firstly, select the top text layer. And, make the anchor point minus 30. Next, select this text layer, 
and make the anchor point around 30. Now, you can see the space between the two text boxes. This part also needs a title. So, I'm going to copy this directed by. And then, place this above the names. Let's zoom the program monitor. Then, place the text in this position. And, I am going to change the text, special actors. Now, let's go back to the selection tool. And then, align the text to the center. Now, we are done. Let's change the font style of this text box, Roboto Light. Then, I am going to change the names of this text box. Let's move over to my list of names. Then, I am going to copy this group of names. Next, select this text box. After that, paste all the copied names here. Now, you can see the changes. In the same way, I am going to add some more text with different formatting. I have already prepared some text, as you can see here. So, I'm going to copy this text from here. Next, we can add text, by using this type tool, or press the D key, to enable the type tool. And then, we can click anywhere, in the program monitor. After that, paste here, all the copied text. Then, we have to resize and reposition the text. And finally, you can see the changes. Also, we can add any photo or logo if we want. Firstly, from the Essential Graphics panel, we have to click on this new layer icon. And then, we have to browse the logo folder. Then, select your logo. Then, click on Open. Now, you can see, our logo has been imported. Next, resize and reposition the logo. Now, you can see the changes. Our end credit is ready for use. In the final step, we are going to make the roll animation a little bit smoother. If we play this end credit, you will notice a flickering effect. So, we need to make it smoother. The first solution might be to lower the contrast, and you can do this by changing the plain white text into something more gray. Let's preview. Now, you can see, it's a very smooth playback. Next, move over to the effects panel, to add an effect. This is a reduce interlace flicker effect. Now, drag and drop this reduce interlace flicker effect, to this graphics layer. After that, move over to the Effect Controls panel. From here, we have to make the softness value around 3. By the way, you can change the value as per your requirements. Now, we are done. Our film end credit is ready. So, let's preview. In this way, you can create smooth film end credits in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did. Like the video and leave a comment.